you are free from what held you captive. God broke every chain. You no longer bound to that person, place, or thing. Shout out to the WTC game. We really are the chosen ones. You are free, chosen ones. Thanks be unto God that you are free. You no longer are held captive to what had you bound. You'd be very surprised, chosen ones, of what held you bound in the past. You'd be very surprised at how many people that were in your life that held you captive. You'd be very surprised, people, of how many people, how many places you've been was holding you back from your destiny. But thanks be unto God who stepped in in the nick of time. Thanks be unto God who broke every chain that held you bound. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, take the shackles off my feet so I can dance in this season. This is the greatest season of your life. This is about to be the best years of your life. And I'm here to tell you right now, be thankful unto God that you are free in this season. Be grateful unto God that he set you free from that narcissist. He set you free, amen, from them fake friends. He set you free from them fake family members. Be grateful and exceedingly glad. I'm getting a lot of emails. People telling me why they keep going through trials and tribulations. Understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. You're going to go through trials and tribulations to the day you die. Why are people holding you back? Let me tell you something. You got to use that dunamis power that God has given you to tell him to break every chain that's holding you bound. The only reason why they held holding you back, chosen ones, your family members. You got people in your life, your, 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 your so-called friends holding you back. Understand what I'm saying? That that relationship is holding you back. You know, you 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 wonder why you haven't leveled up yet. You wonder why you ain't got to the next level yet. Because people, places that you're going, amen, it, it, it can hold you back from reaching your destiny. If you ain't careful and if you ain't prayerful, I'm telling you right now, the devil will send forces. The devil will send many people in your life to hold you back from your destiny. And people do it sometimes intentionally because they know you destined for greatness. But I'm here to tell you right now that no weapon formed against your destiny will prosper. No weapon formed against you will prosper. God is getting ready to break every chain in your life in the name of Jesus. God is getting ready to break every chain that's holding you bound. You are free. Who cares if they hating on you? Who cares if they jealous of your anointing? Who cares if they talking about your gifts behind your back? You are free. You'll be very surprised the real reason why you haven't leveled up. Because you soon become the company you keep around. This is why you haven't got to the next level. Haven't you noticed that misery loves company? As long as they are miserable, oh, they would love for you to come over. Understand what I'm saying? So they can bring your energy down. So they can hold you back. Have you ever been to somebody's presence before? And you felt like, why am I here? I shouldn't be here. There's other things to do with my time. And then all of a sudden, it gets quiet. Because them spirits is holding you bound in that house. Them spirits is holding you bound. Whatever place that you at, you got to be careful because there's negative spirits in places as well. It's demonic spirits that be, that be in houses and places. You got to be careful. That's why you can't go to everybody's house. That's why you shouldn't let everybody in your house. Because guess what? They bringing them holding back spirits in your house. We call them holding back spirits. We call them misery spirits. They miserable. They want to throw that miserable spirit on you so you can be miserable, so you can't spread your wings and fly. But devil, you a liar. The truth ain't in you. You got to send that misery spirit back to the pits of hell to where it belong. I shall thrive in this season. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below, chosen ones, and say, I shall thrive in this season. I shall get to the promised land in this season. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I shall get to my destination. This is why you haven't leveled up yet. Because you hanging around the wrong crowd. Stop trying to fit in. 
God didn't build you up. God didn't mold you and created you a clean heart and shaped you up and changed you and brought the whole new version of you just to be hanging out with the same old crowd. You got to understand that when you be, be ye separate from these people, you going to take off like a skyrocket. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, Lord, I'm getting ready to take off like a skyrocket. Lord, I want you. Lord, I want to take off like a skyrocket. Be ye separate, chosen ones, because you are free. There is not, there is no better feeling than knowing that I am free from what held me captive. There is no better feeling knowing that God has broken every chain that is over my life. Let me tell you something. Break every chain. Don't be afraid to get on your bended knees and say, Lord, I need you to set me free. Lord, not only stir up the gift in me, but I need you to break every chain that's holding me from using my gift. Get these, bless, uh, these, blo these blessing blockers around from you. They blocking your blessing. Get from around these people. They poisoning your spirit. And put on a whole armor of God so you can withstand all this hatred and jealousy going on up out of here. You are free. I'd rather ride this thing by my goddamn self than to be riding with people that's holding me back. I got somewhere I got to be. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I got somewhere I got to be. And I'm not going to let nobody hold me back. This is why you've been having anxiety lately. This is why you've been depressed lately. This is why they stressing you the hell out. Understand what I'm saying. Because they don't want you to get to the next level. You'd be surprised how many people see the potential in you. You'd be surprised how many people really see greatness in you. But guess what? They don't want to push you to your full potential because they scared of you. They scared of your, 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 your confidence. They scared of your authenticity. They scared the way you carry yourself. They scared the way, hey amen, you got the anointing. They scared because they know you're going to take off like a skyrocket. Leave them all behind. And get ready to dance. Because what you going to do when God takes the shackles off your feet, I'm going to give him the praise. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, when God takes the shackles off my feet, I'm going to give God the praise. You should see the way people look at me when I'm shouting in church and giving them the praise. I'm not worrying about who looking at me because guess what? They don't know where God brought me from. You should see how many dead spirits be up at my church looking at me. Don't want to get, get up and dance. Don't want to get up and give the Lord the praise after God and set them free with what's held in them bound. You'd be surprised how many negative spirits is it in church and you thinking everybody up in there are holier than now. You'd be surprised how many dead spirits don't want to clap their hands and give God the glory. Devil, you a liar, the truth ain't in you. I sit in that front row and be focused on the word. And when that word hit me and that music start playing, I'm getting ready to do my dance. Don't you play with me, devil. I'm going to dance all over your head. Because I'm free. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I'm getting ready to dance all over the devil's head. Because I am free indeed. And if God brought you from a mighty long way, don't you go back to what's held you bound. If God broke every chain that's over your life, don't you go back and try to put those chains back together and try to stay bound because of how they mistreated you and how they rejected you and how they abused you and abandoned you. God got a destination that you need to get to. You need to learn how to forgive and forget and get these blessings from the Lord. Because vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And don't you forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the greatest motivational speaker in the whole wild world in your boy. Because I'm coming with that unlimited content. We the chosen ones. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Because you are free. Be blessed.